This quarantine thing has been crazy. On the outside, it seems as if this was a negative to the world. But when you dig deeper, it's sort of like a blessing in disguise. Yeah, I didn't hang out with my friends as much as I wanted to. I didn't go to all the places I wanted to go to. But this quarantine gave me a chance to spend some time with myself. Gave me a chance to really think about my future. To think about who I am as a person. And I'm sure it was like this for many other people. Not only did my mentality change as a whole, but I believe I'm at the best physical shape of my life. Until school hit, that is. They're different measures, so we shouldn't be drawing these comparisons anyway, but... I'm in my third year of kinesiology, which is the most work demanding school year up to date. And considering that everything's gonna be online, things are gonna be different. All I could do was study or watch lectures for hours. I didn't have enough time to work out as much as I wanted to while also maintaining high grades. I had to choose one, so I chose to prioritize school. The workload put a lot of stress on my shoulders, which made me stop my vertical jump training as a whole. I lost the motivation to train, which resulted to me being out of shape. Everything just seemed to go downhill for me in terms of my mind and my body. School was just so time consuming. Probably because I would procrastinate, but time consuming nonetheless. It wasn't until I started my internship when I really noticed how unfit I was. I had to volunteer to work 77 hours at some place. I chose to volunteer at Fight Fitness, which is a personal training company that specializes in hit and kickboxing workouts. They do group workouts and one-on-one -on -one workouts, online sessions and in-person sessions. The people there are amazing. They would teach me the basics of personal training and how to be a good personal trainer. I wouldn't host the workout sessions, but I participate in them and be sort of the example to the online clients. These workouts were tough. If I'm being honest, I haven't been that tired from a workout in a long time. This is what would help me realize that I was out of shape. And that's what motivated me. This was the point where I decided to continue my vertical jump training, but harder than ever. I would participate in these fight fitness workouts every week to improve my endurance while also doing my own workouts at home. I would research jumping techniques and tips from elite dunkers. Even when my legs were sore, I would force myself to still work out. It was safe to assume that I was more motivated than ever, more consistent than ever. I took this shit more seriously than before. I even had a personal trainer give me a workout plan centered around increasing vertical jump. Shout out to you, David. He would give me tips on the best exercises for jumping higher and building explosiveness. Things began to go in the right direction for me. I felt like I was making real progress for the first time in a while. After all the things that's gotten in my way, I've somehow stumbled and found myself back on track. It's a great feeling. I've never been so committed to something, and having the hard work pay off is just a different type of satisfaction. Here's how far I've gotten after continuing this process for about a month. Taken, I basically had to start from scratch again. I started to implement proper warm-ups into my plyometric sessions to make sure my muscles were activated before I did the real exercises. This workout was meant to build explosiveness, but I also wanted to check how much I progressed. After warming up, I did some jumping. If you want to master something, repetition is key. So all I did was jump, jump, and jump. Now it's time for me to test how high I can dunk. On the first day, I had to use all my power to dunk on an 8.5 foot rim but now I could do it with ease. It's not that impressive considering that it's an 8.5 foot rim, but at least I see some progress. I decided to try nine feet and I kind of got it. I got rim stuff, but I was getting up there. I have to say, at least it's better than this attempt. Just a reminder, I was jumping off of one foot and I'm best as a two footed jumper. The only thing is that I need to learn the techniques of dunking off two. And hopefully I can learn that next time. <laughs>